The real priority is to reduce malaria to a disease which is a nuisance rather than a kind of major killer. And that's perfectly achievable and that's where we should be focusing all our efforts. Well, I'm Kevin Marsh and I work in Kenya for the Kenya Medical Research Institute in a programme called the Kemri Welcome Programme. This is a research programme which is really focused on child health in Africa and with a specific interest in malaria, which is my own area of research. But it's a broad programme now that which looks at all aspects of child health in, in Kenya. We deliberately take an integrated approach to research right from, if you like, basic laboratory research through to policy related research and everything in between. So it's hard to define a specific area, but our focus is on the major causes of um, death and illness in, in children and providing the evidence base to tackle those. In a general sense, the, the excitement at the moment is about reducing, reducing malaria. Uh, for many years there's a lot of pessimism about this for a whole range of reasons now, many of which we don't actually fully understand. There is evidence, at least in some areas, malaria is being reduced dramatically. So I think a lot of the focus is on how we can increase that and how we can sustain that. There's been a lot of focus on eradication and, th and th this was this came after 40 years of pessimism and then there's been a sudden renewed interest in eradication and that's good in the sense that it's focused people's minds on it and as, and as an aspiration it's clearly what we should be aiming at but it's a very long term aim and if one's really honest it's not going to be achieved in any short time and it isn't actually the priority or at least in my view either the real priority is to reduce malaria to a, a disease which is a nuisance rather than a kind of major killer. And that's perfectly achievable, and that's where we should be focusing all our efforts. Certainly bed nets, uh, which prevent people getting malaria, are a really major tool. They have a massive impact if they're used properly. Providing appropriate treatment is clearly important. And those two things together, if applied properly, can really reduce malaria right down. But there's a lot more to it than that as well. There's a whole kind of, if you like, cultural and social and health systems thing. You can have the tools, but getting them out to people who need them is a critical issue. And in the longer term, I personally doubt whether those tools themselves will be enough to eliminate or eradicate malaria. I think there will be extra tools needed and vaccines are the most obvious one.